Hi, this is the Dog Podcast. I'm Mimi, your host. Right now I'm talking with Jerry and his Old English Sheepdogs, and we are going to see what the, these characteristics of this breed is. Okay, could you tell us some of the things about this breed? Yeah, they have hair like you and I. They don't have fur, so they never turn their coats, and they, they'll lose a hair occasionally, but they don't shed their hair. And they're hypoallergenic, so if you have allergies, they're a great dog to have, except for they do collect dust, so you have to get the dust off them if you're allergic to dust. Okay, this is um, Rembrandt, and this is Talon. And Talon won yesterday, and Rembrandt won today. And um, Talon is two, Rembrandt is two years old, and if, he's got the proper kind of fur. Feel it's well, really wiry. Do you feel it? Okay. And they call that a guard coat, so if they're defending a flock of sheep, that keeps the wolf from like, biting all the way through. You know the reason the reason that we dock their tails is the same reason, because they dock sheep's tails to keep a wild dog or wolf from using it as a weapon against them. And so the wolf doesn't know which end of the dog is the business end has the teeth. And it's right inside the flock of sheep. And it looks like Talon really likes you. And they're really fun to hug, and they're very warm, and so you can stick your feet in them in the morning, you can fall asleep on them. My grandkids sleep with them all the time. That's great. And if I won't let them sleep in the grandkids' room, they sleep just outside the door. And they are as fluffy as you'd ever think they are. They're fluffy and happy. They spend most of their time rolling over on their back when you walk into the room. They want to be scratched. And they really get their feelings hurt if you don't let them be really close to you and talk to you. You take a shower, they check on you. They stick their face inside the shower and look at you. You can't go to the bathroom. You can't eat your food. You can't talk to friends. They will follow you everywhere. One of the juniors uh, that uh, Um, participated in the... um, How long has uh, this one been competing? Um, well, ever since he was six months old, so two years now. Leader wow, there. that's actually that really cool. And how many? when he was four months old, it was a little special box competition to get him used building. to being at a dog show. They really like the dog shows. We won't show them if they don't like it. If we have a really nervous one, we'll never show it. Um, if they don't like being in the ring, you never show them. Um, I don't use bait, you know, just using meat to show it to them. No, if they want to be in the ring, then I'll show them as a show dog. If they're not interested, then they get to be a pet and hang out with kids and whatnot. Um, these guys love thousands of dogs barking around them. You come into a dog show, if you think about it, it's like going to a giant dog park. Because there's dogs everywhere. And who wouldn't want any with somebody petting them and, and brushing them for, you know, eight, ten hours at a time on a table when they can be close to mom and dad? They think it's pretty cool. So, so do you recommend this breed for lots of families? Definitely for families. You just have to want to be able to brush and, and groom them. And if you don't mind doing that, it's a great, oh, a great dog to have. Are they easy to train? Very, they very are. easy. Because they want to please. They're, that, they're not an auto herder. They live their lives to please their owner. So you just make sure that you show them the, like a two-year-old, you show them the walls, the perimeters. And they'll follow it the rest of their lives. That's awesome. The only thing that would distress them if they deviate from the pattern. Always, you know, they know what's right. If you don't do what's right, they're going to tell you. So they're super smart? Very. Yeah. Sometimes too smart. <laughs> My breeder has one that gets its own ice out of the ice maker and takes a drink out of the out of the refrigerator. We have one at home that lifts the toilet seats. We had to get a kid lock. So, yeah. They're sneaky and they're smart. That's great. Thank you for letting us interview you. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. You and too. Thanks for in, in, you know, investigating the old English sheepdog. Yeah, thank you. Say goodbye, Rembrandt.